Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some crucial kidney health tips. Your kidneys are incredible organs, working tirelessly to filter your blood, remove waste products and keep your body in balance. But just like any other part of your body, they need proper care to function at their best. If you want to keep your kidneys in top shape, make sure to avoid these 10 daily habits. We're going to break down each habit, understand why it's harmful and give you practical tips on how to make healthier choices. Let's talk about salt, or more specifically sodium. Too much of it can spell trouble for your kidneys. High sodium intake is a major contributor to high blood pressure. Think of your kidneys like a delicate filtration system. High blood pressure forces them to work harder. Over time, this strain can damage your kidneys. The recommended daily intake of sodium is around 2,300 milligrams. Processed foods and restaurant meals can be loaded with hidden sodium. Read food labels carefully and choose low sodium options. Cook more meals at home to control salt. Fresh herbs and spices are your best friends for flavor. You've probably heard it a million times, drink plenty of water. But did you know that staying hydrated is especially crucial for your kidneys? Water is essential for virtually every bodily function and your kidneys are no exception. Think of your kidneys like a washing machine. They need a constant flow of water to flush out waste products and toxins from your body. When you don't drink enough water, your urine becomes more concentrated, making it harder for your kidneys to do their job effectively. Chronic dehydration can lead to a buildup of minerals and waste products in your kidneys, increasing the risk of kidney stones and urinary tract infections. It can also contribute to kidney damage in the long run, Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water throughout the day. If you're not a fan of plain water, try infusing it with fruits, vegetables or herbs for a refreshing twist. Listen to your body and drink more when you're thirsty, especially after exercise or when it's hot outside. We all reach for a painkiller now and then to relieve headaches, muscle aches or other types of pain. While these medications can be effective for short-term pain relief, overuse can have serious consequences for your kidneys. Over-the-counter painkillers like ibuprofen and naproxen, known as NSAIDs, can reduce blood flow to the kidneys if taken in excess. This reduced blood flow can damage the delicate filtering units in your kidneys, impairing their ability to remove waste products from your blood. Long-term or excessive use of NSAIDs has been linked to a condition called analgesic nephropathy, a type of kidney damage caused by painkillers. This condition can lead to chronic kidney disease and even kidney failure in severe cases. If you experience frequent pain, it's crucial to consult your doctor to determine the underlying cause and explore alternative pain management options, such as physical therapy, acupuncture or other non-medication approaches. Chapter 4. High Protein Diet Too much of a good thing. Protein is an essential nutrient that plays a vital role in building and repairing tissues, producing enzymes and hormones, and supporting a healthy immune system. However, consuming a diet excessively high in protein can put a strain on your kidneys. When you eat protein, your body breaks it down into waste products, including urea, which your kidneys are responsible for filtering out of your blood. A high protein intake means your kidneys have to work harder to remove these waste products, which can be taxing over time. For most healthy adults, a moderate protein intake is sufficient. Aim for a balanced diet that includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein sources and healthy fats. If you have any underlying kidney issues, your doctor may recommend adjusting your protein intake based on your individual needs. Chapter 5 Smoking, suffocating your kidneys. We all know that smoking is detrimental to our health, but its impact on kidney health is often overlooked. Smoking damages your kidneys in several ways, primarily by reducing blood flow and increasing the risk of kidney disease progression. Cigarette smoke contains thousands of harmful chemicals, many of which can damage blood vessels throughout your body, including those that supply blood to your kidneys. This damage narrows the blood vessels, reducing the amount of blood that can reach your kidneys. Over time, this reduced blood flow can starve your kidneys of the oxygen and nutrients they need to function properly, leading to kidney damage and an increased risk of kidney failure. If you smoke, quitting is the single most important thing you can do for your overall health, including your kidney health. 
Talk to your doctor about resources and support to help you quit for good. Chapter 6. Excessive alcohol consumption, a toxic brew for your kidneys. While a glass of wine with dinner now and then is unlikely to harm your kidneys, excessive alcohol consumption can take a serious toll on these vital organs. Alcohol is a toxin that your kidneys have to work hard to filter out of your bloodstream. When you drink alcohol, it's metabolized in your liver, producing a byproduct called acetaldehyde, which is actually more toxic than alcohol itself. Your kidneys are then responsible for filtering out both the alcohol and acetaldehyde from your blood. Excessive alcohol consumption can overwhelm your kidneys, leading to dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and a buildup of waste products in your blood. Over time, this can contribute to kidney damage and an increased risk of kidney disease. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. For healthy adults, that means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Chapter 7. Ignoring diabetes and high blood pressure, a recipe for kidney disaster. Diabetes and high blood pressure are, you know, two of the leading causes of kidney disease. These conditions can damage the delicate blood vessels in your kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste products effectively. When blood sugar levels are consistently high, as in diabetes, it can damage the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys, leading to a condition called diabetic nephropathy. Similarly, high blood pressure puts extra stress on your kidneys, forcing them to work harder to filter blood, which can lead to hypertensive nephropathy. Managing these conditions through lifestyle modifications, such as a healthy diet, regular exercise and medication as prescribed by your doctor, is crucial for protecting your kidneys. Regular checkups with your doctor, including blood sugar and blood pressure monitoring, are essential for early detection and management of these conditions. We all know that regular physical activity is essential for maintaining a healthy weight, improving cardiovascular health and boosting our mood. But did you know that exercise also benefits the kidney? Engaging in regular physical activity helps improve blood flow throughout your body, including to your kidneys. This increased blood flow delivers oxygen and nutrients to your kidneys, supporting their optimal function. Exercise also helps lower blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for kidney disease. By maintaining a healthy blood pressure, you reduce the strain on your kidneys and lower your risk of kidney damage. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. This could include brisk walking, jogging, swimming, cycling or any activity that gets your heart rate up. We've all been there, stuck in a meeting on a long car ride or in a situation where we can't immediately get to a restroom. While occasionally holding in urine is unlikely to cause harm, making a habit of it can increase your risk of urinary tract infections or UTIs and other kidney problems. When you hold in urine, your bladder expands, which can put pressure on your kidneys and ureters, the tubes that carry urine from your kidneys to your bladder. This pressure can make it harder for your kidneys to drain properly, increasing the risk of urine backing up into your kidneys, a condition known as vesicoretral reflux. This backflow of urine can carry bacteria from your bladder into your kidneys, leading to kidney infections, which can be quite painful and, if left untreated, can even damage your kidneys. Listen to your body's signals and make it a habit to use the restroom when you feel the urge to go. Your kidneys work tirelessly behind the scenes, often without any noticeable signs or symptoms until a problem has progressed. That's why it's crucial to be aware of potential warning signs of kidney problems and seek medical attention promptly if you experience any of them. Early detection and treatment of kidney problems are essential for preventing further damage and preserving kidney function. Common symptoms of kidney problems include changes in urination, such as increased frequency, especially at night, difficulty urinating pain or burning during urination blood in the urine or foamy urine, swelling in your legs, ankles, feet, face or hands due to fluid retention, persistent fatigue or shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting or loss of appetite, metallic taste in your mouth or ammonia breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, don't ignore them. Make an appointment with your doctor to discuss your concerns and get a proper diagnosis. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more health tips. Remember, your kidneys are amazing organs that play a vital role in keeping you healthy. By making simple lifestyle changes and being mindful of your habits, you can protect your kidneys and keep them functioning at their best for years to come. Take care of your kidneys, and they'll take care of you. See you in the next video.